What's up all you Marvel Comics loving dudes and you dads, Toysh is here and I'm back in again to give you guys another retro shiz look back at the past and today we are heading way way back to around 1994, let's just say, to check out the Toy Biz projectors. They had Spider-Man, Iron Man, X-Men, and all were very unique. This was the gift you gave to somebody if you heard they liked action figures and you were trying to impress them. But lo and behold, this uh, did offer minutes of fun. We will just say that. But there were ones that just projected, there was ones with action phrases, there was ones that had weapons even. They went really, they went all in. They tried all different kinds of things. But say what you want, nowadays they're actually pretty cool and are a great love letter to the old 90s animated shows by which they are based. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. These are the Toy Biz 1994 Spider-Man Projectors. Hey kid, where will you project your projector? Whoa! Spider-Man's on the ceiling! Oh now he's in your face, dude! <laughs> Snap in an action disc can project scenes from your favorite shows anywhere you want! Hey, video tattoo! The Hero Channel! Oh, cool! Ball vision! <laughs> Do you know what time it is? It's clobbering time! Mind if I try? They're not just action figures, they're projectors! Where will you project yours? Each sold separately. So to keep it in line with the commercial and to say this was the projector that I received as a gift long, long, long time ago with that exact reason. Hey, your family told me you like action figures. Well, check this out. And I was really enthused. I was like, cool, it's Venom. That's amazing. And then you play with it and you go, okay. But I will give them this. To this day, these are very interesting. These are different and like I had previously mentioned, they're a good love letter to all the animated series. And this is actually pretty cool looking Venom, nicely painted, very limited articulation. It's basically just the legs and the arms that move with the head that rotates. However, I'm really not too big a fan on that Venom face. I think that that's really where it needed to have some work done to it. It's basically kind of just like a pinheaded kind of thing, but basically you would take these discs and basically every single figure came with three of these things, and they correlated to that particular figure, usually. So with Venom, you know, you get stuff with Spider-Man in the opening credit sequence, and each one had about 12 slides per disc. It's like old-fashioned slides, basically, and that's basically what it was just built into this action figure, which is, I mean, it's an interesting thing. It's totally outside the box, except for the giant light hole that's on the front of the thing. We'll get into that in just a second, but as I said, yeah, minimum articulation, but the paint is all nice and crisp, and they put the whites on the back of the hands with the black dot. That's what I like. On the back side, though, you get the little projector twisty thing. That'll control all the images. It only moves one way. You pop the back off. Two AAA batteries fit right into his bag. Cover slips right over again, and it fairly flushes. It's just a big thing, and he's got a little button right there, which actually projects the light. Check that out. It's actually pretty bright in pitch black darkness. This thing actually works pretty well. You pull down on that front cover, and that is where you would apply this disc, and there's only one way to put it in. You kind of just rotate it a little bit and close the thing up. If you twist the knob right here, that'll adjust the focus of the image. You had to do that sometimes, but let's get going. Let's check these out. So we'll go ahead, we'll dim the lights here, and we'll get this thing going, and voila, there you go. Check that out, right? That's Venom sitting right there, and you just saw the commercial, and I'm going to give him this. For the most part, it works the exact same way. For the most part, let's just say. It's not going to show up on a television, but if you shine it on the wall, you know, go forward, come backward, it will expand the image, and it stays pretty crisp overall. Now, one thing I will say is that when you kind of take stills, it does look better in real life, and these are fully focused when you have them in hand. But for sake of the photos, you know, it, it's going to get a little hazy here and there. And not all of them are crystal clear, but... It just goes to show you, it's fun to see the original animated series, especially the opening. This is Kingpin, in case you didn't notice. It could not adjust that one, unfortunately. But, you know, you get Dr. Octopus, you get the Scorpion. And that's why when you see these, it just evokes the animated series. You hear the tunes playing in your head. And they don't exactly show this original opening anymore, mind you. This was the first season opening, and they've now altered it on the Disney+. Plus. Unless you have it, in some instances, this is how I'm actually 
reliving it. Funny, on this particular disc, you go from the animated series, and then you go into the Mysterio episode, where Spider-Man teams up with Terry Lee, and you have it saying, my job is never done, basically. Although, in the animated series, he jumps on her car, and he goes, going my way. So, yeah, that's how nerdy I get for this type of thing. But like I said, you can keep the image going just by simply pressing the light button, and you twist the knob, and you roughly get... 12 images, which is pretty cool. So this one being from Night of the Lizard, you know, like, save me, save me. That guy, remember the tunnel worker guy? And he's like, you, you'll come back for me, right? Totally I, I nailed that voice. I know it. you guys are all thinking it. But again, it's very cool just to kind of have this now. Maybe back in the day is kind of eh, but it sure is heck of a lot of fun. This particular Venom, he stands around eight inches tall. He's taller than a Marvel Legends figure nowadays. He kind of fits, especially with this Rogue, but from back in the day, around the five inch Toy Biz figures, yeah, he was considered a little bit large, and if you look at other Toy Biz, like the 12 inch, 13, 14 inch Venom here, yeah, the Marvel Icons guy, you, this, this, I talked about him. I'll have a, a link if you want to check him out, but I'm going to tell you this. This is just cool. It's a it's a love letter to everything that came before, especially Marvel animated series of the 90s. It's totally different. They don't do this stuff anymore. It's a big projector in an action figure, and that's pretty cool. It's totally just nostalgia, totally just off-the-wall bonkers. But with all these discs, I still got a ton of discs. I acquired these, right? So I, I, let me know if you guys like this, because I'm thinking about getting more of these figures, and I think that would be a lot of fun to kind of show off the rest of the disc. All discs will work in the projectors, but since we're kind of running out of time, I figured why not save it for another episode. But I'm so curious to know what you guys think about these. Did you have them as a kid? Do you still have them? Do you have them now? I know a lot of people on my Instagram, they were pulling them out. I kind of posted about it the other day, and that was a lot of fun to know that people, some, somebody even said, I always thought this was a bootleg. I was wondering why there was a big hole, like a light thing in the chest. Didn't know what it did. So I hope this helps everyone kind of figure it out. And again, let me know if you want to see more of these projector videos. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, as Spider-Man said in the commercial, where will you project your projector? That's some, that's some deep stuff right there. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.